Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. Alright? Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Clinton Luxury Auto Club. This is Franklin's dealership. Here goes a few screenshots of the building. It's going to be the outside right here. You got the picture of the full entire dealership right here. You got your short showroom floor. You even you um, also have a place where you could uh, stage your cars to get fixed, like a mechanic place right here. Um, you have your entrance right here, and you could put a nice amount of cars inside. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This one right here is created by uh, Joello. I believe uh, that's the name right there. If I'm saying it correctly, this is the creator. Shout out to the creator. When you get to um, when you get to this page, what you want to do is scroll down, read the full description before you download it, and you will see that the requirements are Map Editor and Map Builder. Okay, we will not be installing Map Editor or Map Builder, although I will still leave links down in the video's description to videos showing you how to install those. Okay, so if you don't have Map Editor and Map Builder installed already, please check out those links down in the description. All right. So once you have um, that download it you want to come up here to where it says uh, current it's going to say current right here you can select this one or actually select the 1.2 okay that will be the latest version right there and go ahead and select this green arrow to download all right so once you have your requirements installed and you have your Clinton luxury auto club downloaded on my left hand side I have a luxury dealership download that's the Clinton luxury dealership and on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up I have all of my requirements installed I have my map builder installed I have my map editor installed as well and I also have a menu installed I will leave a link down in the description um, if you don't have menu installed then you can check out that link and it will show you how to install menu as well we will only need menu just to install a optional feature okay it's just optional so let's go ahead and um, go to our luxury dealership folder. Let's go ahead and open that one up. Inside that folder is going to be a few folders and a README. The first folder, we want to take this one and we want to put that in our DLC packs. So let's go over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and let's open up our mods folder. Now, if you don't have a mods folder, what you want to do is go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods. After you have done that, you want to go down to this update folder and you want to copy the entire update folder. After you have copied this update folder, go back into the mods folder you created, open it up and you want to paste that update folder right here inside. After you have pasted that update folder inside, go ahead and open up the update folder. Inside the update folder is going to be another folder, x64, open up that one. Inside that one is going to be a DLC packs folder, go ahead and open up that one. Now, if this is your first time copying your update folder to your mods folder, you're going to have a large list of DLC packs. You can go ahead and highlight all of those DLC packs and delete those, okay, if this is your first time. Now that we have our DLC packs opened up right here, let's go back over to our luxury dealership. And we're just going to drag and drop this one that I have highlighted right over here to our DLC packs. I already have it. Now, after that has been dragged and dropped, let's go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And we want to select Grand Theft Auto 5 at the top. It's going to bring us right back to here to our directory. Next, we want to go inside Menu Stuff. So go ahead and open up Menu Stuff. Inside Menu Stuff, we want to look for Spooner. Open up Spooner. And we're going to leave Spooner open right here. Let's go back over to our Luxury Dealership folder we had open. Now let's go into the optional folder. Open up the optional folder. Inside that folder is going to be dealership heads XML document. You want to highlight that. Drag and drop this one file over here into Spooner. I already have it as you can see. After that has been dragged and dropped, now we can go back to um, our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. We're going to come back over here to our luxury dealership folder and just press the back button. Now we want to install the scenarios. In order to install our uh, content inside the scenario folder, we need to open up Open4, okay? Uh, if you don't have Open4, don't worry. I will still leave a link down in the description 
um, showing you how to install Open4 if you don't have it already. So let's go ahead and open up our Open4. Now that we have our Open4 open, first thing we want to do is select Edit Mode. Always turn on Edit Mode before you do any modifying. So select this button right here to turn on Edit Mode. All right, now we need to add our Luxury Dealership DLC pack to our DLC list.xml. In order to do that, we want to come right here in the side column, select Update, then select Update.rpf. Once you select that, red banner is going to pop up. It's going to say Copy to Mods Folder. Go ahead and select Copy to Mods Folder. After that's been copied to Mods Folder, go ahead and select Common, then Data, and scroll down till you find DLC list.xml. Right click with the mouse, select Edit, and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list. And you want to highlight the last item line. Then you want to copy that line. Place the cursor behind it, press Enter to open up a new line. And we want to paste that same line. So we have two, uh, pretty much a, two, uh, like a duplicate of the same line. What we want to do now is go back to our luxury dealership folder and we want to highlight that DLC pack, just the name of it. Just copy in the name, then you want to come back down here to the bottom of the list, highlight the name of uh, whatever the name of that last item DLC pack line you had, and just paste over that name with luxury dealership. So you should have a new item line at the bottom with luxury dealership in the middle. After you have that done, go ahead and select save. File, close our archives. And I'm going to lead you where we are going to be going. Let's go to the side of the column right here and look for X64A. Go ahead and select it. Once you select it, it's going to have a red banner that's going to pop up right here. It's going to say copy to mods folder. Select copy to mods folder. Once it has been copied to mods folder, we are going to be going to levels and then GTA 5 and then scenario folder. And we're going to leave this open. Let's go back over to our luxury dealership folder and let's open up the scenario folder. Okay, we're opening up the scenario folder now. Inside the scenario folder, we're going to have two um, YMT files right here and these files we're going to highlight both of them drag and drop both of them right here into open four all right after those has been dragged and dropped we can go ahead and close all archives and we are all good to go we have everything installed let's go ahead and minimize any windows that we might have open and run the game all right once you spawn into the game this is where the dealership is going to be located. It's going to be located right over here, San Andreas del Piro Freeway. All right, right over here by the beach. This is where the dealership is located. As soon as you get over here, you definitely will see it. It'll be a big Clinton Luxury Auto Club sign right there. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is uh, pretty much the surrounding area where it's at. Let's go ahead and head inside. You just walk in right here through the front. You have upstairs also. There's plenty of offices around here as well. You have a front desk. A nice little area over here where you can speak with the customers or whatnot. Show, uh, showroom floor, as you can see. I went ahead and uh, placed some cars in here. This is from Corn's uh, 40 Car Pack. I'll leave a link for that in the description as well if you want to check that out. All I did was just go ahead and just park some cars right here. <laughs> so this is the bottom area. As you can see, there's more offices around here in the back. You also have more offices upstairs as well. Let me just show you like this. So going up here, up the stairs, we have a conference room right here. Then going down the hall, there we go. Inside this door right here, we have a kitchen or a break room. All right. We also have uh, more offices. 
and uh, we have more offices on, on this side. We also have restrooms in here as well. And right through these doors, you have your restrooms. And through here as well. And a uh, nice little closet in this one or whatnot, like a shelving area. All right. And still going down this way, you have more offices down here. Through this door, there's another office. And through this last door, there is another office. So there's plenty of offices around here. All right. Yeah, this is nice right here. We gotta take a screenshot of that. Go get a good selfie for you, Frank. There you go. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, show you that garage part where uh, you will be driving into. Uh, we can go ahead and just use this one right here. Now hop into it. Let's go ahead and lift that up so we don't scratch it. There you go. Alright. So, this will be how you will be entering into your uh, new dealership. Be careful on those corners right there. You also have space right here to place some more cars. And you also have this area right here in the back where you can place cars to work on. Have some mechanics back here. That's nice. And let's go through this garage. This right here will be the front. All right. So if you want to bring your cars in, you'll just be going right through that garage right there. So let's go back in. Not getting hit by traffic. <laughs> there we go. tricky coming around these corners <laughs> all right let's go ahead and park the Impala back up here there you go drop it down there we go and lock it up all right now let's go ahead and um, load up that PED file that we had installed into our menu stuff spooner folder in order to do that what we want to do is uh, let's just go ahead and go outside real quick We'll stand right here now let's open up menu by pressing function key f8 twice you got to press it one time you'll hear that little noise press it twice one one more time and you will see the menu pop up in the left of your screen go ahead and scroll down to object spooner then scroll down to manage saved files then scroll down to dealership peds.xml select it then scroll down and select load placements. The screen is going to fade out. Then when it's done loading, it's going to fade back in. And you should see that you have PEDs right now all around inside your dealership. You'll have uh, like a security guard on the outside. You'll have some receptionists behind the front desk, even a mechanic. Um, you'll have a bunch of customers standing around. And it's pretty much a good look you know now if you fill it up with cars and then you uh, load up the PEDS file it uh, pretty much goes with it you see what I'm saying that we have a uh, we have people on the outside looking in at our beautiful cars we have this guy right here taking pictures of our cars and uh, we have some customers and everything over there in these offices making deals yeah we also got people upstairs as well as you can see up there and they're, um, they're all throughout the whole entire building, first floor and second floor throughout the offices. Right? You can get this guy right here. I think he's uh, interested in getting this uh, getting this Impala. Him and the rest of these guys. 
All right, y'all. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sell these cars. <laughs> but if this video helped y'all out to install it, or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share the video with y'all friends that are in a modding GTA 5, y'all. It's the game's graphics. Me and Big Bowling Ass Frank. We get out of here until next time, y'all. Help some people real quick. So y'all looking to buy some cars, huh? <laughs> I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.